Click on your image in the top right, select add and you'll be able to set up a new Chrome profile. It'll have its own settings, themes, history and everything else and will not be connected in any way to your other profiles. That means that you can personalize your profiles for different activities like one for leisure and another one for school in order to separate them. When you open up Chrome, you'll be able to choose which profile you want to work in or if you already have it open, click Command Shift M, then cycle through your profiles with Tab and click Enter to switch. Or you can just do it with your mouse. I usually create a new profile to experiment and customize my browser there and then I move the settings that I like over to my main profile. Now what better way to personalize these profiles if not with themes? You can go to the Chrome Web Store and select Themes on the left. Here you can pick from thousands of pre-made themes and add them to your browser by clicking on it and choosing Add to Chrome. These are a few of my favorites. Keep in mind that I'm using dark mode. The material dark which makes everything black and has this gold accent when you hover over your tabs. And the material simple dark gray which has a dark earthy aesthetic. If you decide that you don't like the theme you've added, go to the three dot menu, settings, appearance and under theme choose restore default. Of course, when it comes to chrome customization, themes aren't the only thing that matters. Click on the three dots, settings, appearance and here you'll be able to change a very annoying setting if you're using a Mac. Toggle off show warning before quitting with command plus Q and you'll no longer have to hold that shortcut to quit chrome. While you're still Still here, you can set a custom zoom amount for all pages on the internet. So if I choose 250, all new pages and tabs that I open will have that zoom amount. Now in the customize fonts section, I can set a minimum size for all text in my browser and also choose any font that I want to use. If you go back and select on startup, you'll also be able to customize the default start page, which means that that you can set any website to show up when you first start your browser or better yet open everything back up that you closed last time. Now another cool way to customize Chrome is with extensions and I've made an entirely separate playlist dedicated only to them which I will link to in the description. Before we get ahead of ourselves let's continue with the basics. On a new tab you'll see customize Chrome where you can personalize three things. In the background section, you can upload any image to use as your background for Chrome, which will appear on any new tab that you open. In the shortcuts section, you can set to see shortcuts that you create or frequently visited websites on your homepage, or even better, hide Chrome shortcuts altogether. In color and theme, you can choose from any of these pre-made color themes or create your own by clicking on the eyedropper and choosing any custom color that you want. Now if you go to chrome colon double slash flags, you'll find a ton of new features that chrome is still hesitant to put out in an official release. And here's where you can really dive deep into customizing your browser. That's why I've made an entirely separate video dedicated only to chrome flags and you can watch it right here or in the description.